Hey guys, Sparty be here, and today we're going to be looking at my Xbox One and PlayStation 4 collection. So, let's just get right on into it. First we have Halo, the Master Chief Collection. Uh, this also includes the Halo 5 multiplayer beta. Uh, this, all, this also includes, obviously, you know, the, the four main ha uh, <laughs> Halo games. Um made by Bungie and 343. I really need to try the Destiny series. Uh, GojiFan93 is, like, addicted to it, so... Um, it, they look pretty fun, too. I'm not really into first-person shooters, but I do kind of like the setting for this, like, the, the whole sci-fi and story kind of setting that it has going on. Very fun game. Or games, I should say, because it's four games, but... <clears throat> Next we have Forza Horizon 2. This is the day one edition. And I actually think I still have the card for it. Yep. It includes uh, the three uh, day, day one edition cars with the day one edition liveries. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, very great uh, open world uh, driving game. Next we have Forza Motorsport 6, pretty much my favorite um, Forza Motorsport motorsport game on the Xbox One. Um, I don't have 7 yet, but I will be getting it at some point. Um, but uh, yeah. Next we have Minecraft Xbox One Edition. What more can you say? It's Minecraft. I'm, but, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of these kind of sandbox creative kind of games i like those kind of i like these kind of games um but uh yeah forza horizon 3 by far the best horizon uh game i really did like the first horizon um but when i went to this i'm like man this game looks so good and it, it plays so well too uh, which the map in this game, it's off of um, Australia, so very cool. I also have like all the bonus uh, secret cars in this game that you get from these like uh, chal or weekly uh, challenges. So Project Cars, a very flawed game because of all the glitches and bugs, but it's honestly a decent. Uh, racing sim. You can tell this game was more built for the the PC um, because it plays better on the on the PC. But uh, yeah, <clears throat> Lego Jurassic World, one of my favorite Lego games. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Jurassic Park movies. This is a really great homage to that. Um, it has a lot of iconic uh, scenes from the movies in here. And, uh, yeah. The Crew. I don't get why so many people hate this game. I loved this game to death when it first came out. Uh, the way you could, like, explore the whole United States. Well, not the whole United States, because it's, like, 1 25th the size of the actual real United States, because probably rendering issues and stuff like that. But very fun game. Obviously requires internet because it's a it's an online it's an online only game, but very fun. I did like the story to this as well, and uh, yeah. Next we have Minecraft Story Mode. Do not buy this copy because this only has the first episode. I thought it was the first five, but it's it's like a trick and it's just the first episode. So yeah. <clears throat> Very fun game, though. I, did, I do like the game. Next, we have uh, Need for Speed 2015. This is like a, a, re a reboot uh, of the Need for Speed series. The graphics in this game are really, really good. Um, you can't really tell the difference between reality and, and the graphics from this. It's really good. I do like the story as well, but the physics are just 
awful in this game. I really didn't like the physics in this game. And the fact that you could only have like 10 cars. But still, pretty great. Pretty great game. Uh, next we have Forza Motorsport 5. The DLC was actually just recently uh, taken off for this game. Fuck you, turn 10. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, because I, I think I had almost all the DLC for this game. Um, and then they took it off, and I'm like, oh, man, I was so close. So, yeah. Also, it includes the Top Gear presenters. I love that show. Such a, f such a funny show. Um... <clears throat> Uh, next we have, um, <clears throat> City Shrouded in Shadow. This game you can see I got from GojiFan93. Thank you, dude, so much for this game. It's just, I haven't gotten the chance to play it yet, but I will do a stream of, of playing it at some point. Gran Turismo Sport. It's about freaking time, Polyphony. I remember when this game was first announced back in, like, 2015, and it just kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed until we finally got it right at the end of 2017. And it's like, oh my god, finally. And this game is actually really good. So. <clears throat> Next we have Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. A beautiful looking game. The graphics in this are absolutely amazing. Um... And, and the story, too, is just amazing as well. This game actually came with my PS4. Next, we have Godzilla. I know you're probably like, why do I even own this game? This is like the most terrible game in the PS4 library. You guys can shut up about that because I actually kind of kind of like this game. It pays a lot of homage to the, uh, the um, movies. And um, I really like that. And finally, we have Drive Club, um, one of the, pretty much the earliest game I have on the PS4. Very, very fun game. Plays a bit like uh, Grid, actually, but, uh, yeah. But yeah, guys, that is all my physical games for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Very small at the moment. I will be expanding on it later in life. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.